Hello and welcome to the PC Mold 2 Expo Poster. The Polymer Center of Excellence has tasked the team with motorizing a pre-existing mold cart that is designed to lift 500 pound molds into the machine that is shown on the slide. We have seven project specifications which fall into two main categories, safety and ease of operation. An example of a safety project specification is number four, which states that the cart must comply with OSHA's safety regulations. An example of a project specification that satisfies ease of operation for a user is number five, which states that the speed of the cart must be variably controlled. Here is our concept of operations, which is summarized by this instructional plaque that details operation of the cart. As you can see, there are two plaques, one for main cart operation and one for recharging. The chosen solution is a Bison DC gear motor that has a nominal torque of 599 inch-pounds and a maximum torque of 831 inch-pounds. The motor is directly mounted to a bracket that uses a keyed shaft to deliver power directly to a 10-inch drive wheel. The throttle mount is designed to allow the operator to have two points of contact while having control of the variable speed of the cart. To provide a safe and simple interface for users, a control panel has been included as shown which houses an emergency stop, mode of operation switch, and a forward and reverse toggle. In addition, an emergency stop was added to the cart's mast to easily cut power to the cart while its lift is in use. Here's the electrical schematic for the final design. Moving from left to right, the 12 volt automotive battery's positive terminal comes into contact with the three-way rotary switch. The rotary switch is normally in the off position as seen here. When the user wants to operate the winch, the rotary switch sends the 12 volts to the winch controller. When the user wants to operate the drive motor, the rotary switch sends 12 volts to a DC step-up converter which increases the voltage from 12 to 24 volts. The 24 volts is sent to one of the two speed controllers depending on which direction the user wants to move the cart. The user controls the direction of the drive motor by toggling a triple pull double throw switch. To improve on the pre-existing design of the cart, a locking arm was added to the head box to aid in rotating the boom. An indicator was also included to let users know when to charge the cart. Finally, to protect users and expensive machines, rubber bumpers and safety striping were added to the front perimeter of the cart. Testing was validated by having a third party successfully operate the cart with minimal instruction and continuous operation with an oversized load without damaging industrial carpet. Thanks for watching and have a good day.